Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, May 9th. It's the fourth week in Easter and week three in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 48, and Luke chapter 6, verse 12 to 26. Now please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novice. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, Psalm 48. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. In the city of your holy mountain, Mount Zion is beautiful and the joy of the whole earth, for there is the city of the great king. You are known as a refuge in her palaces, for the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it and were amazed. They were troubled and hurried away. Fear took hold of them there and pain like that of a woman in labor, like the ships of Tarshish scattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of God Most High of Hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth, and your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice, let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers. Mark her bulwarks and consider her palaces, that you may tell the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever, and will be our guide until death. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. Now during those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples, and he chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James and John and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples, and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and healed all of them. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and deframe you, on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. 
Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, accept our praises, for we have seen your justice and are glad in you. Be our guide from this day to the next, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.